Hi Aries, welcome to your full moon and Gemini love tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. Aries, looking at the full moon and Gemini, Gemini is about truth, clarity, communication, reflection, um, as well and if you think of the tarot it represents the magician which is about new beginnings manifesting and the lovers which is you know obviously about lovers it's also about making choices so we'll see how this energy plays into your reading and we still are in sagittarius season i did a new moon in sagittarius reading love reading so if you're new here and you missed that you can go back and watch that as well if you'd like to all right aries sun moon rising venus male or female general collective reading please only take what resonates for you including the signs mentioned and you definitely can flip it switch it i guess if you need to cross watchers as well everything you need to know is down below aries your playlist the list of readings i do here my other channel and your playlist there so welcome in aries i hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time so what do we have we have our lady of divine direction we have 35 which is eight travel action movement it's also infinity so let's look at them all first before we um our lady of new vision 16 which is seven seven can be kind of a stagnant energy but it's also a divinely guided spiritual energy our Lady of Starting Over, 29, which is 11, Life Path, Soul Path energy. And we have Our Lady with the Moon at her feet. And we have 36, which is 9, which can be almost, you know, full circle completion, you know, 9, 10 endings, new beginnings. So I feel like there's a divinely guided energy here, definitely here with divine direction. Someone's having a new vision about this um, connection so whoever you're thinking about and now something comes up here and you're like i want no part of that not your reading i really have to stress that people still leave comments not every reading is for every person just have to really really stress that out here so anyway uh aries um a new vision divine direction someone's being either divinely guided directed having more of a divine connection with themselves in the universe and this connection having a new vision about it maybe wanting to start over in some way shape or form in the moon you know can represent emotions feelings also fear can sometimes represent fear of um going on a new path but it's also about intuition as well so let's see um moon i mean some could be dealing with the pisces doesn't have to be or cancer in astrology the moon is cancer but in tarot it's pisces so all right, so let's look at the energies here for you, Aries. Let's see what we need to know. Let's see what we need to know for Aries. All right. Where's the divine? Let me see what the divine direction is about for Aries. The chariot. Mm, somebody uh, divine direction a <laughs> chariot is about positive movement forward just saying direction movement i'm saying so someone is getting um ace of cups oh we have the four of swords in reverse and the wheel of fortune somebody's taking action here because wheel of fortune four of swords in reverse and the chariot and the five of pentacles in reverse so that's a good energy so somebody here if they were at a distance with separation or ghosting, divine direction is basically the wheel of fortune. You know, things getting better, moving in the right direction, you know, fate, destiny, things just moving forward. And the four of swords in reverse, someone's been thinking long and hard about this, now ready to take action. What, ace of cups, brand new beginning in love. Chariot could be movement, traveling, maybe distance, uh, but that, that is positive movement forward drive ambition balance so i feel like someone's coming in here with balanced energy wanting to come out of separation ghosting whatever happened here to have this brand new beginning in love because we ha do have starting over right here so i see cancer which i didn't mention that sag leo chris taurus scorpio nine of wands so it's been a little bit of a struggle here but there's the moon with the high priestess and the Knight of Wands. 
So we have Sag showing up here and Pisces. So again, intuition, higher knowing. Somebody could be really trusting their intuition now, being really divinely connected and guided. Um, Nine of Wands, I, I feel like they've been struggling with their love, emotions, feelings, this connection, what's happened, what's gone down, the separation, whatever happened that caused that Five of Pentacles. And now they're wanting to take action here with the nine, uh, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. And feeling really fiery and passionate uh, about this. They're like, I kind of getting, um, what are those cars that when they accelerate, you know, like flames shoot out of the back? <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm envisioning with that chariot. Okay. All right. So let's see what the new vision is here for Aries. The Queen of Swords. Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Wow, so so if there was uncertainty before here with the Four of Cups and perhaps there was an ending, a breakup, separation, whatever it may be, Four of Wands can be commitment, marriage, uh, celebrating, moving in, a new home. Knight of Pentacles, it's been, you know, a long time coming here, and somebody knows that with this Knight of Pentacles, but it's time to cross the finish line. Queen of Swords is definitely having clarity of mind, true clarity, communication. Um, for me, it's a Libra, but it can definitely represent that Gemini energy that we're in with this full moon. So truth, clarity coming about, you know, I know I've been dragging my feet or slow walking, and I was uncertain. You know, I left a lot of energy um, open and there was a lot of uncertainty and that's why there was separation or breakup, but now they're wanting marriage, commitment, moving in or something to that effect. Let's see. So this could be Libra or the Gemini energy. We have Taurus. Eight of Cups. Somebody definitely walked away, but King of Wands and the Five of Swords. The Devil. Six of Pentacles. So this person could have been toxic at one time, or they just had, you know, with this devil, a lot of fear, stress, worry, anxiety, low self-esteem, negative thinking. Uh, Five of Swords is not a good energy with the uh, devil. I'm not really sensing this person was like married or anything like that, but Eight of Cups, but King of Wands is definitely a lot of fire, passion. Perhaps they know they sabotaged this if it was solely based on fire, passion, and lust with this, you know, devil energy. But there's balance here with the Six of Pentacles. So we do have Leo showing up here. Capricorn at the bottom of the deck. All right. So mm -hmm. let's see. So let's see what Our Lady um, starting over. And I think at the end of the tarot, I'm going to look at how the Gemini energy with the truth, the clarity, communication, if that will be coming through, what will be said, what kind of energy that holds with this as well. But let's see what the starting over is about. Definitely feel that we have the Ace of Cups right there. But obviously Aries is totally up to you. Page of Swords. Well, that's about communication. Nine of Swords. So somebody definitely is stressed out. Temperance Soulmate Energy. Judgment, making a decision here, life review, relationship review, and the hermit in reverse. So somebody is ready to come out of hiding, <laughs> become ready to come out of solidary energy if there's been separation or distance, hiding, um, judgment, you know, life review, relationship review, healing, forgiving, releasing, making way for new, final judgment, decision, call to action about the soulmate energy, temperance right here, divine alchemy, patience, healing, balance. Uh, maybe even past lives. They're stressed, though, about communicating, coming in and communicating this. So I feel like with this Gemini energy, with the full moon, and full moons can be about full circles, full closure, energies as well. They want to communicate, but they're stressed here about, you know, reconnecting. They made the decision but they're worried about your, what your judgment will be as well. But they're definitely ready to come out of separation with this hermit in reverse. So we do have Aquarius, Sag, Scorpio, and Virgo. Four of Pentacles. There's been a lot of resistance and holding back. 
choosing a new path for what ten of cups total happiness joy fulfillment in every single way starting over now they want the path of ten of cups wow all right so let's see what the moon at her feet now the moon again can be fair illusion uncertainty can't see things clearly but needing to trust intuition and we're definitely talking about the full moon moon right there all right so what is the lady with the moon on her feet the devil yeah there's that fear stress worry anxiety i felt that you know going into this six of swords in reverse hmm. three of pentacles three of swords and the queen of wands we did see the king of wands just a few minutes ago and it was upright i think it was on the bottom of the deck so that is a match here so there's been you know there's a lot of fear surrounding this because they want to grow and expand now but there's been a lot of heartache pain associated to this connection there's still a lot of desire can you know passion that passionate connection it's still there because we do have the devil as well with the queen of wands queen of wands gets up makes things happen goes after what they want aries that's you i kind of see you turning your back to this but that's totally up to you aries um but i see this person wanting to come in here and grow and expand the connection now and with the six of swords in reverse if they didn't move away that could be them coming back but they are they are nervous here that um you'll turn your back on them five of wands so there could be a little bit little bit of conflict here they know that over spray new beginning in love i kind of see the ace of cups here eight of cups yeah because they walked away there's that king of wands king queen of wands looking at each other so you still have that passionate connection between each other there's no doubting that but because somebody walked away here and there was a lot of conflict surrounding this but uh, someone feels like it's not over because death is in reverse so let's see we have scorpio leo aries that's you and capricorn so i want to see with this gemini energy like what the communication is going to be like now i do have a candle out so that may be significant of something that there was an ending of some sort between you so with this uh, gemini energy what is the kind of truth clarity communication going to happen here page of cups that could be apologies you know sincere loving communication and gestures seven of swords about lies deceit avoidance running out of fear eight of pentacles in reverse though hmm. justice and the page of wands so we do have two communication cards right here so i think it will get very fiery here with the page of wands and there will be an apology but i am not sure eight of pentacles in reverse uh someone is not may not want to continue to grow this connection because the eight pentacles is in reverse but aries that's totally going to be up to you and justice you know maybe all you wanted was an apology or conversation truth and you may be getting that this page of cups page of wands i feel like someone's going to stand their ground and kind of tell it like it is um because there's been so much maybe deceit or lies or avoidance or running or whatever here but I know someone's either going to be hesitant or reluctant to grow or expand on this but you know justice is you know it is a soul contract truth clarity justice balance getting what we deserve maybe somebody was going through a divorce or divorce is at play i didn't really feel that here um but this is getting what you deserve so i think you will get what you deserve aries out of this this could be you with this page of wands but i'm not so sure that you may want to go further with the connection you may just get that apology the communication truth that you want and that's maybe good enough for you and you may send this person packing i don't know five of wands again there's still a lot of conflict surrounding this because someone walked away yeah i keep getting that same energy eight of cups king of wands still here you know now somebody may be wanting to come in for higher levels of commitment marriage doing the moral just right thing leveling up in a big way but we have you know strength here is a strong connection cannot be denied maybe past lives together there's been a lot of resistance and holding back 
but it's about being strong. This can overcome anything. Some of you, you can overcome this in um, continue together. Some, it, it's been too much and it's like, no, but it may just be the community, like I said, the truth, communication, clarity, apology you want, and that's it. So we do have Leo, Taurus, Leo again. Six of Pentacles is balancing of the scales, but um, yeah, I'm not. And we did have the uh, Emperor, just so the Emperor Aries, that's you. Nine of Wands, Two of Pentacles. I still see a lot of like unbalanced energy surrounding this. So it's up to you, Aries, what you'll want to do with this. But let's see. Let's get you some advice and guidance here for Aries. Advice and guidance for Aries. Now they have a new vision and they want to start over. And they have fear. They're being like divinely directed back to you. But uh, you may hear them out, Aries, but I'm not sure, so sure many of you will want to get back with this person. That's kind of what I'm feeling. All right, let's see. Blow off some steam. 60. Six is a healing balance. Energy. You may blow off some steam at them. Yeah, <laughs> just saying. Maybe go blow off some steam somewhere somehow before. <laughs> Put others first, 43-7, divinely guided energy. So I feel like they're going to put you first now, but you have a lot of steam to blow off. Connect with your soul family, 20, which is two partnerships, unities, choices, decisions. They definitely feel like you're their soulmate, part of their soul family. And stop, 34, another seven, divinely guided energy. So you may actually stop them in their tracks here. Some of you will reconnect, I see that, and some of you won't. The stop is kind of like a no, but um, it's going to be totally, totally up to you, Aries. All right, Aries, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate again. Everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there, as well as uh, the list of readings I do here, my other channel, and your playlist there. So wishing you the best, Aries, and I shall see you next time.